make Nani sound white. <laughs> she can't be like, Lilo, you got to go to your room and take this crazy little alien dog with you. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> could definitely tan. I mean, I'm not Hawaiian, but I used to play tennis in Texas. And I would get so dark black, people would ask me if I was half black. <laughs> Has Disney's whitewashing gone too far with the new Lilo and Stitch live action movie or... Are there other possible reasons for it? I'm here with Ronnie Chang's number one Asian upcoming comedian to look out for, Vic Tran, to talk about this issue. Hey, what's up? I'm Vic Tran. I'm Vietnamese and Filipino. But am I dark enough for Lilo and Stitch? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the summertime. I don't know. Uh, guys, uh, so we got to talk about this viral issue. It's going crazy on Twitter and, of course, in the Asian community and also in just the Disney and, you know, Hollywood community. Uh, the casting came out for the new Lilo and Stitch live action, and a lot of people are mad because Nani's character is played by Sydney Agudong, who has way too light a skin and very uh, Eurocentric features, right? She's clearly part European, part white, right? Um, but she is from Hawaii, so I think they got that right. However, she really doesn't have a lot of like the native Hawaiian or Pacifica people uh, features, things like that. Obviously, Nani had a wider nose, much tanner skin. Um, and so they're accusing Disney of perpetuating Eurocentric beauty standards and whitewashing, uh, or is it just showbiz, you know? And we're going to talk about it in this video. If you guys are interested by this topic, please hit that like button and check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys right now. Vic, what's your initial reaction, man? I don't know. I feel like there's been examples of whitewashing in the past with Emma Stone playing a uh, Pacific Islander woman. But in this instance, you know, I feel like she's Hawaiian enough. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're fighting over shades now. This isn't whitewashing as much as... It's, it's lightwashing, if anything. It's lightwashing. Yeah. I mean, I feel like at this point, it's hard. Disney Disney can't win that they, they cast her. I mean, I'm sure she's... Uh, I believe she is part Filipino, this actress. But okay. she's just like... You know, the mestizo Filipino or the the Hapa, right? Who's clearly yeah. like half white. Mm -hmm. um, but she grew up in Hawaii. So I, I don't know if they can make her... I don't know if they would make her darker. That might be getting kind of dicey with makeup. But maybe if she <laughs> tans long enough... Yeah, she, she could definitely <laughs> tan. I mean, depending on the picture you use, I think she looks a little bit, I guess, tanner skin. Yeah. But her nose is small. Like, Nani and Lilo's nose are clearly pretty wide. In yeah. the, in, and, you know, that, that's more the Hawaiian feature. Right. But, like... I don't know if they're going to... They can't yeah. make her nose wider. I don't yeah, think I think you just got... You win some and lose some with, like, live-action casting, you know? And, I mean, sure, she could have, like, a European nose, but as long as she has that tsunami mommy booty, <laughs> I'm buying two tickets. I'm watching. <laughs> Man, I hope they just don't cast uh, Stitch as just, like... An Asian guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, just don't put, like, Ki Wei Kwan in there and just, like, call it a day. Because people already think that we're aliens. Mm -hmm. God dang it. Um, all right, we're going to go in the comment section. So this comment was just like, hey, how about you stop remaking perfectly good animated movies into live actions? They're really hit or miss here, guys. Uh, the Mulan one recently that came out, it was also really bad timing too for that one, but that one was like a big flop. Yeah. And that was like right during COVID. <laughs> and then like, uh, I think there's some other Disney live actions that didn't really turn out. Obviously Little Mermaid has yet to be seen. That's yeah. a live action one. So I guess like, should they just stop doing it? Because, because with, with animated films, you can just make people look however you want. And yeah. then to go backwards and try to find an actor that looks like them is tough. It's tough. And I don't think there's been a single movie where people have been happy with the cast. Like, they were upset with Lion King, and that didn't even have real people. Yo, do you want to know something crazy? That yeah. the person who actually voiced Lilo in the animated film looks like Avril Lavigne. Not <laughs> yeah, Hawaiian or whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> and then also, Tia Carrera, who is from Hawaii, voiced Nani in the original. Uh -huh. But she's like... A little lighter skin than Nani is in the in the animated. Yeah, film too. she's lighter too, and she sounds very Hawaiian in the movie. She's right, got the she she did dance. well. She is from Hawaii, so she was able to do the the good accent and the voice. But right, yeah. I'm just her as an actress is like she's she's lighter skin. Um, mm -hmm. anyways, um, there was this other one that said, "Man, these same people complaining right now didn't say anything when Ariel, the Little Mermaid, became black." <laughs> <laughs> she so, became black like she's yeah, Rachel she became, Dolezal well uh, you know people are like yeah well you, you know 
You know, when I said I wasn't interested in this new black little mermaid, I got called racist. But now people are saying that um, uh, Nani's going to be too light skinned and they're not being called racist. So everybody's arguing about race, but we're only the ones being called racist. Yeah, that analogy doesn't make sense because, like, what is it, the mermaid community that's being misrepresented on screen? <laughs> it's like, it's a fantasy that, yeah. that can be played with. Right, right, right. I mean, yeah. the mermaid is not a real thing. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, yeah, and I guess, obviously, Lilo, Nani, they represent humans, so... Uh, I guess you want to be more accurate when you're casting human for human. But I guess uh, this other comment was like, see, there's that double standard against white people I've always been talking about. White characters can get replaced with all the different colors of people, but then when there's one ethnic character that becomes a little bit more light-skinned, it's a problem. Yeah. This double standard, how long is it going to last? I guess the question is, and if you're like a frustrated white person, I'm trying to put myself in their shoes, right? They see like white characters turn ethnic and mm -hmm. they're like, how long is this going to last? Minorities, how <laughs> many roles do you want? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Whenever an argument starts with double standard for white people, my brain sort of just starts muting the rest of the argument out. <laughs> I don't really listen to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I guess uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, I got to give it to them, you know, like a uh, casting issue maybe. Like it's just hard to find. Maybe she was the best actress maybe she can do the voice really well we don't know yeah. we don't know the reasons but yeah clearly she is more european than nani is in the animated film there's one more comment that try to make sense of it all and try to defend them and was like well not all people from hawaii are even as tan as lilo and nani nani is clearly out in the sun a lot and even trying to find an actress who is fully hawaiian and fully that dark and that tan skin it's actually really hard, so that's why in all the Hawaii shows, they just keep recycling the same actors and actresses. Um, yeah, because Hawaii, obviously, uh, even though there is a lot more Hawaiian people and a lot more Asian people, it's the most Asian state in the whole United States, um, and people generally are more tanner skin. There's also, they're very mixed. That's mm -hmm. where the word hapa comes from, right? It's half yeah. Asian, so there's a lot of mixed people, and I believe Sydney Agudong is mixed. Uh, how mixed? I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, they're just trying to defend and say, like, maybe there's not even that many, like, I, I guess to them, Nani and Lilo are pretty tan skin in the animated yeah. film. Like, it's hard yeah. to even find full Hawaiians in Hawaii that are that tan. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe this live-action adaption is a better representation of what Hawaiians are actually like than the Hawaiian cartoon. <laughs> you know? Maybe, no, I mean, may, may, maybe they casted more for the Oahu, Lilo and Stitch, <laughs> and not like the the Kauai one, you know, like the far out island. Yeah. But I think as far as my takeaway is, I think it's tough. There's always a fine line for sure. No doubt that this actress has more Eurocentric features. Do I think Disney's trying to do it to push Eurocentric beauty standards? I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I can't say for sure, but Disney does put out a lot of other like ethnic movies they did raya if if they turn raya into a live action they're gonna have to get a lot of like southeast asian and tanner skin people for that yeah um but yeah i would say man just don't make nani sound white <laughs> she can't be like lilo you gotta go to your room and take this crazy little alien dog with you <laughs> Yeah, yeah. She can't sound like she kisses the alien dog on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she can't be like, geez, I need to find work. Where's the nearest Jamba Juice? <laughs> it's got to still be like, if this actress can do like pigeon, maybe she's really good at the pigeon accent, mm -hmm. you know, and like that, that way of speaking, you know. Yeah, um, let the performance and the movie speak for itself. We'll just find out whenever it comes out. Yeah, I, I understand their pain, though. I want to say like, I, I get it mm -hmm. because I think people want to be seen. And, you know, I don't want to complain. I, I have no complaints because with a lot of, like, the East Asian representation, there's a lot of East Asian actors you can find. Like, right. they'll never have a problem finding a girl to play Mulan. That's true. Like, that is true. There's half a billion of them. Mm -hmm. Like, they can choose from, you know. So, I, I want to say, like, yeah, I get it because the movie, because I think... Everybody was so proud of Lilo and Stitch and also like Moana, that, that movie, the, that animated film for like representing uh, Native Hawaiians and Islanders and Pacifica, you know. So I get it. It's harder. They have a smaller pool of actresses and actors to pull from, you know. Yeah. So I guess they're kind of going for that. But you know what? Crazy Rich Asians. They got Henry Golding. 
Mm-hmm. You know, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, he's like half, half Asian. So I guess like, I don't know. Some people even had something to say about that casting as well, too. Yeah, so people are always upset. Just, people are always upset. I think I think what they should push for is push for this actress to do, to represent Hawaii correctly. Yeah, you know, one hundred percent. But yeah, she does have the small pointy nose. Anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> any any last takeaways, Vic, on this topic? Um. Yeah, no, Lilo and Stitch, you know, hopefully it turns out good. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about it all. Um, I think there's a multitude of different perspectives here, but I think at this point, I think all you can hope for is that it's a good piece. But for sure, it definitely, like, falls in line with what people already think that Hollywood wants to do, which is whitewash. Which, you let me know in the comments down below if you think that this is an issue that's going to continue, right? So, you know... Is it always going to be like this? Maybe it's a pooling issue. Maybe there's... I mean, they got the little girl right. I feel like Lilo, the girl that they got to play Lilo, fits. Yeah, she's very horny. Yeah, and maybe the guy who plays David is 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 an okay pick, but mm-hmm. seems like they went more lighter with, with Nani. But anyways, you guys let me know in the comments down below. Uh, check out Vic's stuff, his link down below. And until next time, we out. Peace.